Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's and, great to be here. And now you're in the NBC, MSNBC family. I am. Yeah. Anything I can do for you, anything, any advice, anything I can help, I can give you directions to the commissary, I whatever. Mean, I don't even know what the commissary is, but <laughs> yeah. I do need directions. Yes, I will tell you exactly where it is and I what mean, to order. Yeah. I know where the ladies' room is. That's no, a big progression. Yeah, see, uh, that's big. Yeah, since last big, yeah. Since last time, I make it last in the elevator bank. So if I'm there, my only ask is that you fish me out of there. I will help you, yeah. It's a big I will building. give you my number. I'll yeah, whatever I Thank can do you. to help you. <laughs> How you. are you doing? How are the kids? They're great. I mean, my How old daughter. Are they now? My daughter's seven. Um, she wakes up with rainbows and unicorns shooting out of her head. I don't know if anybody else yeah. is a seven-year-old, but this yeah, is how it is. That's what they do. That's what they little do. girls do. My four-year-old is a little bit more challenging, but he is also a lover. He'll be brushing <laughs> my hair when I'm 100. Yeah. My seven-year-old is told me she wants to run for president. So there's Whoa. that. I know, right? That's, yeah. That's major. She did. I'm not announcing it here tonight. No, she's of course. Got all of yours. She does ask me how old you need to be to run for president. So that's the kind of discussions we have. So yeah. you're like 70. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like very old. Very, very, very old. old. You got it's time. a lot. You have to yeah. raise a lot of money. It's but, very stressful. <laughs> exactly. Do they have any concept of what mom does for did for a living? Not really. I mean, I, which I love that they don't have any idea that I was on television and talking about hard issues. Uh, yeah. So I love that. Um, I did take them to the White House. Uh, what, early, about a year ago, actually, was the first time I took them to the White House. I know. And you're like, you're like yeah, I know my way around this place. Right. Like, I'm like, look, you. guys, here we are in the White House. Look, there's a big building. And uh, it was actually the day that the president did the turkey pardoning, which he does every year. Yeah. Right? Oh, yes. That's a great day to bring the kids. Great day to bring them. The turkeys sleep in a hotel the night before. I don't know if people knew that. It is true. Yeah. Um, and so I took them to the turkey pardoning. They met the president. They met the turkeys, which was a big deal. I took them. They were huge turkeys. It would be a big family yeah. dinner for those turkeys. Um, I took them to walk around the White House to the briefing Are you allowed room. to go? And you're like, hey, guys, you know all the security. And so you're like, can I, I just? I kind of get yeah, right. You know, you walk. they let you walk around a little bit. Yeah. So that was nice. And they loved it. And I felt great about it because I wanted my kids to experience what I did. And so at the end of the day, I'm walking them out of the White House. And I say to my seven-year-old, so, I mean, today was an amazing day. We'll remember it. You met the president. It was so exciting. What was your favorite thing you'll remember? Yeah. And she was like, Mom, I've never had Sprite before. It was so good. <laughs> so, yeah, true. Yes! So, there you go. Kids are always win. They are amazing. They, br they bring it down to earth for you. <laughs> That's an amazing thing to get your first Sprite. It's a big deal. It it's is. delicious. And then when I would go back to the White House to work, she would say, Mom, Mom, can you bring me home from sp some Sprite? <laughs> can you bring me home some Sprite yeah. in a cup? You so know, uh, I, I, my kids are too young for phones, but they get to, uh, you know, if they have my phone or my wife's phone, they, we texting each other, which is really cute. And I texted, like, uh, I, I love you or something like that. And she wrote, uh, sun kiss. Oh. And I go, that's so cute. Like, like sun. Is I that go, a good thing? I don't know. I go, that's, I go, great. <laughs> I love kiss to you too. She goes, can I? And I go, what? <laughs> she was saying sun kissed oh. into the phone. She wanted a can of soda. Oh. And uh, I go, I go, yeah, of course you have a sun kiss. We have a sun kiss at the house. I go, there you go. Yeah, so she just yes, wanted she a drink. Yes, you can have a sun kiss. Uh, big deal tomorrow night. Uh, election night, a lot of coverage. Uh, are you prepared for it? You ready for it? I think so. I mean, I am the new kid on the block here for yeah. election night. So I have lots of snacks. I think that's kind of what you do <laughs> yeah, when you, you do. go and you want to fit in at the lunch table. I've got almonds and chocolate. It's and an all night thing. All you need your things. energy up. And you want to share them with your with your new friends and colleagues. I want to see what they what they You're like, the so I can at be at school. the lunch. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I, you've been going around uh, the country and 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 seeing what people uh, actually what their issues are and what they care about for this election. Uh, have you been? Uh, what have you been finding out? What what do people care about? You know, what I found from working in politics for a long time is that the way people talk about issues and things impacting them is not how they talk about it in Washington, D.C., or um, even sometimes in New York City. It's people talk about issues in terms of how they impact them personally. And I, I spent a day walking around communities door knocking, uh, following some door knockers. Yeah. Um, and 
people said, look, I care about abortion rights. That's of concern to me. But I also need to pay for childcare and I need to be able to put food on the table and that's of concern to me. So mm -hmm. it was a reminder to me, uh, people in their communities, I don't know about yours, but not on my street, they don't talk about macroeconomic data, right? They yeah. talk about how they're living their lives, how things impact their families and their kids and I think that's so important to remember for anyone running for office. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> is the... Everything I've been seeing and reading is 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 predicting a red wave uh, uh, for tomorrow. Is that Doesn't true? Doesn't that sound so dark? It's it's a little <laughs> it's a little bit reminds me of Game of Thrones or something. The red um, wave, yeah. The red wave is coming. Uh, here's the thing. I mean, tomorrow night I'm going to sit down with this amazing group of people who've been doing election coverage. I mean, Rachel Maddow could make paint seem exciting and yeah, she she's great. is you know she and I, Nicole Wallace who I was watching when I was in the White House because she would tell me what's happening in the Department of Justice even though I worked there so I get to sit with them we're not going to know at 6 p.m. when we sit down what's going to happen at 2 a.m. Uh, or what's going to happen at 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. we have to follow the story and see what's happening where people are voting uh, where people are turning out there are going to be surprises in the election this is what's so exciting to watch the good news here is that turnout is in record numbers there across is. the country in a lot of places. In Georgia, uh, it is at record numbers already. That's fantastic. Young people are turning out in record numbers. People always downplay young, the engagement and involvement of people under 20, 30. I will tell you, those are the kind of people who are the most passionate and engaged on the issues that matter. I love that. Good. Go. Vote. Yeah. yeah. So those are exciting. Those are exciting things. But um, we don't know what's going to happen. I think it's our responsibility tomorrow night to see where the story goes. And uh, share with the public and people who are watching where there are surprises, where things are disappointing, where they're exciting, where we won't know and we may not know in some cases for a couple of days. Wow. Uh, uh, before you leave, uh, any, uh, as a person who communicates for a living, any advice on Thanksgiving dinner and what? <laughs> I How do you handle the... I mean, Jimmy, I, everyone has kind of an Uncle Frank or an Uncle Bob, right? Yeah. I had an Uncle Bob. It's, there are people here. Uncle, Uncle Bob's and Uncle Frank's. We'll give yeah, a shout-out to them. Yeah, know them, yeah. Uh, I would say there's probably going to be politics at the dinner table because Georgia is pro may go to a runoff. We'll see what happens tomorrow night. Um, mm -hmm. And that means the election in Georgia, the runoff, will be in early December. And if that's the case, you're going to have to, everybody's going to have to have these political conversations. My so goodness. what I do, I know, what I do or how I think about it is it's like a research project or a research, you know, process. Okay. So, but you don't announce it in advance. So if you are my, since I am more on the progressive side, if you are my conservative Uncle Frank, uh -huh. I would say, Uncle Frank, yep. hope you're enjoying your turkey. I love it. Great. Can you pass the cranberry sauce? Thank sure, you. Of course. And as you're passing that to me, I would say, Frank, Uncle Frank, can you tell me why you think that there are chips ingrained in people making them vote Democratic? <laughs> tell me a little bit more about what makes you think that. Oh, thank you for the cranberry sauce. It's yeah. so good to see you. You're welcome. So yeah. use, it, use it as your own research <laughs> process. Listen to people who have disagreed. Do, do it while they're in the middle of passing Don't food. announce it in advance, but that would be my Thanksgiving advice. There you go. Jen Saki, everybody. Thank you for that advice. Uh, break a leg tomorrow. Uh, Jen Saki, watch her on MSNBC's election night coverage tomorrow, starting at 6 p.m., then on NBC at 8 p.m. Anything you need, we're here. I'm here for you, bud. We'll be right back with a performance from Smino. Stick around. Hey, hey.